Hey guys, Rich Bob here. How many of us use sayings that we have no idea where they come from or what they even mean? I've used so many. I mean, coming from Yorkshire, like we have really off the wall words and sayings that, well, for me, growing up in Yorkshire, I didn't even realise they were like weird until I left Yorkshire. And I was like, what does that mean? You know, like I'm having to sit there in New Zealand and translate Coronation Street to the locals. I had no idea we had our own sayings. But also there's some around the world that we all use that we really have no idea where they originated from. So I'm going to go through some now and you can let me know if you use them, if you knew what they meant or maybe let us know some sayings that you use all the time that you know what they mean or you've done or anything like that. So I'll start with back in a jiffy. This is commonly used, I know that because it's all, as well as using it myself all the time, it's also on one of the Argos Alien adverts here in the UK. So it's definitely used in various places and it doesn't, and it has nothing to do with padded envelopes. A jiffy is actually a short period of time, so it's as obvious as the saying is. So back in a jiffy does mean I'll be back real quick, and that's what a jiffy is. So that one makes quite a lot of sense. The next one is spring chicken. Like, you might say, oh, is no spring chicken. Again, another kind of obvious one. This actually originated from New England chicken farmers, apparently, who realised that spring chickens sold a lot better than older ones that have gone through winters and so on and they used to go and try and take these older chickens and tell them, tell the people who were selling them to that they were spring chickens and the people who were buying them would say no that's not a spring chicken. The next one is it's raining cats and dogs. It's actually raining cats and dogs right now. It doesn't actually mean that there's cats and dogs coming out of the sky it means that it's raining really heavily. I'm sure you've heard this one. This actually originated from the olden days, like most of these things do. They, they think our slang's bad. Hello? People back then used to have thatched roofs that was quite deep and thick and it was the only place that pets could keep warm from the heat of the, the home. So they used to sit on these thatched roofs, as you do, and then when it would rain, it would become very slippy and then the animals would fall off the roof. The next one is a bee in your bonnet. People say this to you when you're annoyed about something or you're obsessed and preoccupied about something. They'll say, oh you've got to write a bee in your bonnet about that. And this actually originated from a poem by Robert Herrick called Mad Maid's Song. Go look that up read the words. I have no idea how people have got it from that. The next one is learning the ropes. This is like when you start a job or a new hobby, you always learn the ropes first. It's learning the first, it's learning the basics of anything. And this started when sailors used to go to sea and they had to learn how to do the knots on the ship. And that's where it comes from. The next one is spilling the beans. We always say this about people when we want them to tell us all the gossip or tell us some information. Now this actually originates from ancient Greece, I believe, when they used to use a voting system of coloured beans. They would pour the colour of the beans out depending on who they were voting for and then all the beans would be counted in the end and that's, that's where it comes from. I'm not sure how that correlates. The next one is wrong side of the bed. This is like when someone's really grumpy and you say, oh, you must have got the wrong side of the bed this morning. But that comes from basically in the olden days, the left side of anything, like the body, the bed, the room, was always considered evil or sinister, just wrong, basically. Right is right, left is wrong. So they used to push the beds up to the wall of the left hand side of the bed so the only side you could get out was the right hand side and hence the term you got out the wrong side of the bed if you were grumpy. 
The next one is to be caught red-handed. This is like when you've stolen something and you get caught with it in your hand or you get caught burgling a house or something, as you do. This originates from when, again in the olden days when people used to steal animals and slaughter them. If people were found with raw meat, it wasn't enough evidence that they'd stolen an animal, but if they had blood on their hands from slaughtering the animal, that was enough evidence and that was the red on the hands. The next one is to kick the bucket. We say this when someone's died. This originates from slaughterhouses when they used to kill cows and when they would kill them they would put them in a hoist over a bucket and often when they adjusted the hoist it would cause the cow to move and kick the bucket. The last one that I'm going to talk about is one that I presume is a Yorkshire saying because I've said it to Ryan before and he ha had no idea what I was talking about. And he's from Northamptonshire so it must be a Yorkshire thing and I have no idea where, it's, where it originates from. I've tried looking it up online, I just have no idea. So basically here in Yorkshire we, if, if someone's in a sulk, yeah, sulking about something, we would say that you've got a monk on. Like, what's up with you? Why you got a monk on? So if you can help me out with that one, I'd really appreciate that. If you're from Yorkshire and you've never heard of that, where the heck have I got this from? If you know any other sayings and origins, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and enemies, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!